we've, we've reached the 400 subscriber mark uh, and uh, a, a thank you for Mr. for Grey Wolf for being uh, our 400th subscriber and breaking the 400 cherry for us thank you Grey Wolf um, and thank you to every single one of you that have shown an interest in the channel and, and been kind enough to subscribe it's uh, it's, it's uh, yeah I'm humbled absolutely humbled um, and so it's just a massive thank you to all of you really that have uh, have got us to the uh, over the 400 now we're about 407 I think yesterday so thank you really appreciate it onwards and upwards now let's next target 500 uh, and let's see how uh, let's see if we can get there thank you to Morning, boys. How are you both? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> Very nice. <coughs> yeah. All right, isn't he? Does the job, which is what I wanted it for. Oh. How are you, mate? How are you, mate? It feels like a new bike day. Yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's just it's just easy to ride, nothing to it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So it's just us I think. Yeah, but Kev said he went out last night. So I'm not so. Fantic Caballero. Hey. Quite nice, isn't it? That's an aftermarket you bought that aftermarket. Yeah, but it's, it's pretty, all the only real physical difference in looks is it's slightly shorter. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Hey. Sculpted, yeah, it's really comfortable. Really comfortable. Yeah. It's great. It's great, I love you. So, uh, what's your maximum speed at the moment? You ain't got one, have you? I'll just, I'll just go. You go as fast as you like. Don't bother me, mate. Yeah. I, I've, I've watched a few videos online and it's, they're all saying, like, don't don't just stick to 40 miles. Yeah, you got to fairly up and down. Go up to 70, go down to 30, yeah. and just keep alternating it. Yeah. So that's the best. <coughs> Several videos I've watched like that have said that's the best way to run a So, if I'm a little bit slow and you get bored, just overtake. So, all right. <laughs> cool. That's nice, though. I like you. I like you. Glad you bought it. Yeah, it's lovely. I love it. I love the position. I've only done like 90 miles. Now, but it's wide than other, isn't it? Under the two kilos, I mean. I mean, it's just right, so though, light. It? It's they don't weigh nothing, about, do they? That's and I love them knobblies because it's. I found, you know, when I was test riding it, it was a, it was their demo, but it's, no one had ever else, else had been on it, out on it. It's brand new. You put a tray plate on because it wasn't even registered. Yeah, I saw that video. You said. And, uh, and, uh, and I went out and did, 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 and I found I was heading for the bumps there because it just, just absorbs them, doesn't it? It's the nubblies, it's, yeah, you think that they're going to be a little bit unsteady on the handling, there's nothing wrong, nubblies you don't notice. Yeah, I'm in the potholes and the, the bumps, bike it was just, a bike, just so that, I love it. That's what I love about it. Don't see the bottom of it. They say you put a rucksack off and you're off for the weekend, you know, no problem. Brilliant. I want to get to. Right. Shall we head off? Yeah. Top of the morning to you. 
and welcome back to another video it's um, Sunday the 19th of March 2023 and uh, we're off for a ride out uh, down to East Nor down near uh, Hedyford Hedyfordshire uh, yeah Malvern Way I think it is so we're off down there we've got uh, just three of us today got Bri at the back and behind me is uh, Rob and I uh, alluded to the last video uh, when I was taking the scram stand the scram in for a service that uh, Rob had got a new bike well he has and he's on it and uh, we'll uh, we'll have a look at it when we uh, and we stop um, it's a Fantic Caballero he's uh, he's dropped his uh, I sold his Kawasaki Z900 uh, with the beautiful gold tank, um, the gold paintwork, and he's got himself a Fanti Cavalera, um, which is uh, fits in with our, our new type of riding environment that we go to now. So uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that very nice bike. The kid's his first proper ride out on it today. Um, I have got a rear-facing camera uh, recorded at the moment, but I don't know uh, how successful it's going to be capturing him. So I'm waiting to see. Him, but hopefully, you'll be seeing the uh, seeing Rob following me and Bry following Rob. Yeah. So uh, first service was done last Tuesday, as you know, if you watched the video. Uh, we're having a little bit more fun now. This, there was no rain forecast again for today. I don't know what they call it, a weather forecast. But it's a, it should be called the weather. We don't know what it's going to be. So, t just take that look forecast. That's what it should be. Um, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit damp at the moment. But hopefully it's not going to cause us any problems. And hopefully it'll stop shortly. So yeah, so we're off down to East now. Rain, do one. So it's back to work tomorrow. Got uh, a full week and then four days of the following week. That's all my leave used up then. To take me uh, into the next year's leave then. And, uh, and the planning of the uh, the upcoming tours and ride outs and excursions and all manner of good stuff. Hopefully. Philly Joe. I forgot everybody behind us. The George Town of Hagley, yep. Yeah. It's one of the bugbears of uh, leading rides out and stuff. Because you're constantly trying to see that everybody's behind you. But, uh, it's not so bad in uh, when there's not a lot of traffic. It's a flipping nightmare when there is a lot of traffic. And, uh, second man drop off which is uh, something we used to try and use it's not on these roads now it's not really safe especially on busy roads there's never anywhere really safe for the uh, second man to position themselves most of the time it's all right around the countryside but town wise bloody nightmare so I think uh, a few of us have uh, sort of realised that the way to overcome that is by having a having comms and then we can at least say which turn to take and keep a, and uh, share it with the comms to each other yeah but it is, uh, it is a challenge sometimes so the scram oh, it's, uh, it's, I love it I love it it, uh, it hasn't disappointed me it's fun and it's just so easy to ride. Oh, just a uh, to say hello to um, to Derek Solo Moto UK, who's really having a not a good time of things at the moment. Uh, just say, oh yeah, Derek, if you're watching, hope you're uh, hope you're okay, and uh, that you're taking care of yourself and everything. All the Hopefully things will come right for you. So uh, 
take care buddy well, this road here it goes from Hagley down towards Worcester and it passes Harvington where you're Harvington Hall this is sort of for us as kids when we had bikes as kids but, uh, it was always the main road we, we would take out of sort of the area where we live just south of the south west of Birmingham and into the countryside so I, I don't know how many times I've been up and down this road so it's, it's, uh, it's nothing special about it but it's, uh, it's just it's one of those roads that you seem to use a lot because it gets you to, to the places that you Sort of into the play here, into our playground, if you like. So, uh, sad we ain't got Kevin Little Paul with us today. Uh, Little Paul is a big Chelsea football club fan, and uh, he goes to the matches down in uh, in London, and he gets back a bit late. Uh, hence, ah, oh no, that's it. Hence he's uh, he's not out with us, but it was a possibility. And Kev, I think, was out in Brum last night having a few sherbets. So Kev's not uh, sufficiently sober. <laughs> Kev and L, sufficiently sober to come out and have some uh, have some fun today. 2.1 miles. Just a bit wary of these uh, damp roads today. Beautiful over there. Had a bloody cold last week. I was on leave and had an horrible cold. Felt really crap a couple of times. And uh, I think it's scary there. I was having a chat with the guys at QB about the running here. And uh I say, don't be too precious about having to stick strictly to you know the 50 miles an hour. Don't thrash it or uh, don't wring its neck or anything, but if you do find yourself exceeding you know the 50 slightly, now and again. It's all about up and down the gearbox and different sort of levels of stress on the engine but done in a balanced way and of course the bloody trouble is with it think is it keeps wanting to it wants to go so keeping it at, uh, at 50 at times is a bit of a challenge because it's going let me go Danny let me go pleased with the uh, the end can as well so, so uh, Giving it a little bit of a, a little bit of a throaty uh, rumble to it, but it's not excessive, so it's not something that would uh, get you down if you were listening to it for long periods. Where well, I took the baffles out, my scorpion cans on the Enfield on the interceptor, and it was uh, after a while I thought, Jesus, I could really could do with them uh, the baffles back in. So it uh, sounds great, I think, with, without them in really, with them in. Uh, uh, that's the sign of getting old really I don't know whether I can listen to all that noise <laughs> well this day today happy mother's day to all you mothers out there happy heavenly mother's day well that well it really looks like spring is a uh, finally upon us a bit of a cold spell was it last week or the week before the week before I think it's good out gone or over so uh, I hopefully uh, spring has now sprung
Peugeot Blimey Nice place Have a look in the river No box for Rob There's a uh, <laughs> A few months back now, we went out, we were looking for a, a red phone box so Rob could get a picture of his, uh, his Z900 by, in front of a phone box. Do you think we could find one? We found a blue one. <laughs> Somebody painted one blue. We found one of them. So, and then, because you're not looking for them, all I could see every time I was out was red phone boxes. Nice clear enough for us to see the hills properly today. It's up to Boatyard I think, up to Marina. Nice up to, very nice. Been here a lot of times so I don't think we're going to be stopping here. Half, I think. Splendid church. So we're taking that turn to the lost driving. Is it here? Yes. Got the boyos. No. Lost Brian, I think. That never happens. Return around. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. We rarely ever lose a man. Now we're off to uh, carry on the rest of the journey really. Got a delicious um, sausage bap at Henry's. If I had one here before, it's, uh, if you are ever in Upton on Severn, visit Henry's and have a sausage bap. You won't regret it. Trust me. Absolutely delicious. So we're heading off now down to uh, down to Eastnor. A lovely little town, this is. Well worth a visit. I'd recommend it if you're in the area. I'll fasten my bag up. Possibly not. Well, didn't think I had. bird just jumped out on me there then oh this is lovely oh and uh big paul just uh created this ride out on his beeline sent it to me so uh Thank you, Big Paul, for today's little ride out. Wish you were with us. But uh, hopefully that's coming soon. I I'm going to have to stop here for a robin off. Hey? Oh, you want one with a phone in? Oh, I don't know. No, please. Aye? 
<laughs> uh. Lovely little location. So yeah, Rob does want a uh, picture of his new Fante Caballero in front of an old uh, British phone box. But uh, yeah, very demanding ones, one with a phone in it. I don't know whether we're going to find one of them. A splendid bit of road, Paul. This is awesome. <laughs> Love the sound the stand. Wonderful. Absolutely bloody wonderful. Oh Morris Mine and Traveller Van. Wonderful. This is what you get to see when you're out and about in these sorts of places. That's just so relaxing. Beautiful thatched roof. Stunning. It's lovely over here. Lovely. Ah oh, shit, should have gone left there. Need to do a spin round. Lots of road kill about today. I think uh, two foxes and a badger I've seen so far. Looking for another gear I haven't got. Do need to turn around. Been told to turn around. Just finding a suitable place to do that. I think we got one here. <laughs> Dog's got a big stick. Yep, pretty big stick. Bless him. Back in the right direction now. Oh, Stan sounds throaty. Wonderful. And it gives us a chance to have another little go on this lovely little twisty here. Who'd have thought? I had my uh, Yamaha ID50 in 1981, 1982, uh, 81 or 82, that all these years later, at the, uh, at the age of 58, I'd be riding around the countryside, having just as much fun on motorbikes then, like now, as I did then. Who'd have, uh, I can't, I never would have imagined that for a second. In fact, I have, in all honesty, I have more fun on them now than I ever had then, because I had to use them for commuting a lot to get to college, stuff like that. So, uh, in terms of uh, enjoyment factor, as I've got older, I've had uh, loads more fun with them. And hope to plan to continue. This is lovely, look at this. Fifth gear just pulling up the hill. Oh, perfect. I, I, this is just going to be so good for the Isle of Skye. 
just going to be in its, uh, in its sweet spot when we do that to her. There's a farm box. Not ready enough for him, that'll be. <laughs> I love for him. It's not ready enough for a bright red one. <laughs> How many put in your leg, Rob? She's just bloody awesome, man. Look at this. Because he bloody pheasants. That one lives to fight another day. Right. Uh, that's for sure we want to go over there. Let's go over here. Well, it suits us because we want pictures in front of the gates. Five miles of this. This is what you want, Rob. Look over there.
<laughs> These wallets are all about. <laughs> I'll probably be looking at another filthy bike to watch when I get out. Ah, oh, done, there you go. Beautiful part of the world. Lovely. <laughs> Bloody brilliant. Yeah, absolutely bloody brilliant. How was that? How was that for you? <laughs> Brilliant, Teddy. <laughs> Thought you'd like that. We might as well have an excuse to wash him. <laughs> <laughs>